Do you remember your very first job? The first time somebody gave you an opportunity. Imagine, you just get married, you have a home and you get your very first job. You're waiting the first month to bring home to your wife the paycheck and you're all excited and your boss says, no, not this month. That's weird. Okay, maybe next month. The next month also, no paycheck. And it goes on and on and on. Sounds crazy, no? But that's exactly what happened in this week's parasha. Yaakov Avinu works for years and years for one thing, for the love of his life, for Rachel Emenu. And yet, he's tricked. And the Possek tells us and describes exactly what happened. The next morning, after the wedding, he's finally married the love of his life, Vihine Hileah. Says the Torah, he woke up and it was Leah. He was tricked. He couldn't believe it. How, did, how was this done? And he turns to his father-in-law. And you can expect what would follow next would be anger, would be complete betrayal. How can you do this to me? Vayichar off, he would be crazily angry. But no, the Torah tells us a very different response. And perhaps that's a good response for us to remember when life doesn't exactly go our way. And the Torah says, Vayoyme el lovon. Can you imagine? He spoke to Lovon. Wasn't angry, wasn't upset. After months and months of working for your boss, he says to you, sorry, I'm not paying you. And you say to him, calmly, really? Is everything okay? Would that be our reaction? But Yaakov Avinu teaches us the path. He teaches us the way. Vayoyme el Lovon. He spoke calmly to Lovon because he understood who he was. There's a Misa with one of the Belzerebbes that people used to come from far and wide to be able to get a bracha or some kind of advice from the Rebbe. And the way it worked was that the Gabba would allow and a number of people into the inner chamber. And, and then when that line would be finished, he would allow the next group in. And the Rebbe watched that one particular time the Gabba was about to close the door. The maximum amount of people had entered the room. And then one person squished in, he squeezed past the door as the Rebbe was closing it. And the Gabba had no choice but to allow him in. The Rebbe noticed that he did that. He waited until this fellow was closer towards the front. And almost his turn to the Rebbe came. And the Rebbe turned to this man and said, you pushed in, go to the back of the line. Can you imagine? He'd waited hours and hours. He was almost by the Rebbe. Back of the line. No choice. He went to the back of the line. A few moments later, the Gabba calls him and says, the Rebbe wants to see you. He goes to the Rebbe and the Rebbe says, tell me, what are you looking for? What can I help you with? He looked with an astonished face. Didn't you send me to the back of the line? He almost thought. And the Rebbe said, I want to tell you something. You did something wrong. You pushed in. You shouldn't have done that. And for that, I had to teach you a lesson, but I brought you in now to show that I also don't always have to be right. You know, in our lives, we have situations and circumstances that come our way, that people do sometimes things to us that we don't want, that we don't expect, that could even be difficult. We have to realize what's our response. It's not about them. It's often about building ourselves up as a person. Vayoyme Lovin, Yaakov Avinu teaches us in this week's parasha, to speak benachas to everyone, no matter what they did or what they said. We have to be calm in our responses and our sensitivity to others. Have a wonderful Shabbos. To listen to more by Rabbi Avi Wiesenfeld, visit 